Hey everybody, I'm Rocco Despirito, and thank you for coming back for the Mediterranean Life. Today we're gonna to talk about ingredients. Good ingredients are important. Good ingredients make food taste great. If you're from the Mediterranean, you know this firsthand. Everything tastes good there because you're just blessed with sun and what the sun and the rain does to ingredients, no man can do. So I'm, I'm gonna take the dish that we made in the first webisode, my Uncle Amadeo's Magic Spaghettini, and I'm just gonna add a few vegetables to it. Uh, we're gonna use penne today instead of spaghettini just for fun. I've got my water boiling. One of the ways they create flavor in the Mediterranean, or especially in Italian cooking, especially with pasta, is to do something called a sofrito, which is a pre-fried base of flavors. In this case, it's gonna be onions and garlic and mushrooms. Just like Bertoli does with their pastas, they saute vegetables before they add the pasta, which is a very chef-y thing to do and makes it taste better. So this is called sofrito. This is um, garlic and onions. You're essentially sauteing these to caramelize it, get it lightly brown, making it nice and sweet. While that's in the pan, we're gonna cook our pasta. Got a pound of penne. Season everything you make. Make sure you're seasoning well because the average person under seasons because they don't have the confidence. And how do you get the confidence? You taste. How do you know if it's enough? You taste. How do you know it's too much? You taste. So the next step for this dish is to cook the other vegetables. It's very easy to determine good vegetables. One, the vegetable should be heavy for its size. If you pick up a piece of zucchini or an onion and it feels light for how it looks, it means the water inside it, which has all the flavor and nutrients, has evaporated. Now I've got mushrooms, asparagus, zucchini, tomatoes, and shrimp. I'm gonna saute the mushrooms. I'm gonna add some pepperoncino. The other ingredients all get cooked with the pasta. Put the shrimp inside. They cook almost instantly. We're gonna stir that around, let the water come back to a boil. Now we're gonna put the asparagus, the zucchini, and the tomatoes. When that comes back to a boil, all of those ingredients will be ready. We'll mix it with the sofrito and the mushrooms and that's the end of that dish. I'll tell you something about frozen food. I was 18 and working in a four-star restaurant in New York with a very famous chef. I was told to go get peas for the pea puree. So I went to the walk-in, the refrigerator, and looked for the peas. And uh, let me add a little chicken stock to this. So for 20 minutes, I was killing myself looking for these peas. I finally went to a cook I felt comfortable with and I said, where are the peas? And he said, they're in the freezer. We only use frozen peas here because they're better. You know, I thought to myself, well, if a chef at a four-star restaurant in New York City feels okay about it, then I shouldn't be such a snob. Freezing vegetables, in many cases, preserves the flavor and the nutrients better than you can get it fresh. So how do we know this is good? We taste it. Mm. 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 Hey, what do you think? Go for it. Fabulous. A little Parmesan cheese, right? Now, for those of you who are thinking, there's no way I'm ever gonna go through all that to make this dish for myself. I mean, there's more than 10 ingredients in there. The good news is you can go buy a bag of Bertoli Mediterranean-style frozen dinners, and it'll be almost as good as what I made. I mean, I'd like to think that what I made will be a little bit better, but you're close enough without having me in the kitchen. So if you want all this information, you can go to my blog. There'll be the seasonal chart there, the vegetable of the month there, and all my tips about how to find the right ingredients. And then come back next time, because we're gonna be talking about something I call flavor detonators. It's a big name for something that just adds a lot of flavor. Thanks, Rocco.